Today I'm making a Hugh Fernie wetting store recipe again and this one's a beetroot blitz. So just to go through the ingredients there's about 300 gram of beetroot and he says a half to a quarter to a half of garlic but I found a teeny one in the center of the um, bowl so I'm putting the whole thing in. Um, I've already put five uh, tablespoons of nut butter into the food processor so you could use a peanut butter or an almond butter for this. Now beetroot is a fantastic root vegetable and raw you really do get a lot of nutrition from it. It's great for men, great for women because it helps us make nitric oxide which relaxes the blood vessels and so it's good for the heart, it's good for libido and there's a you know traditionally in Chinese medicine because of the colour it would be said to be good for the blood. Um, it's very rich in iron too so of course good for women uh, in the monthly cycle. Now there's about 25 gram of coriander and the great thing about coriander is that you don't have to faff about taking the stalks off the leaves because the stalks taste just as good as the leaves. We need about a tablespoon of a good quality tamari or soy sauce that's made with sea salt uh, rather than processed salt, just a pinch of pepper flakes and the juice of one lime. Now the reason I've juiced this um, in a normal juicer rather than the crusher one is because it's not organic or unwaxed so unfortunately I couldn't get any so uh, it's uh, just juiced conventionally. So I'm going to throw the beetroot and the garlic in and lime juice. There we go. Pop the coriander around. This may need a bit of a scrape down and of course typically me I've forgotten to grab a scraper ready. So about a tablespoon full of Tamari. There we go. And just a pinch of these pepper flakes. So we'll just have a little shake. So then I'm using a food processor today rather than a blender because. Um, this recipe needs to be a bit more chunky uh, than the blended ones I've done because it's a blitz, not not a uh, you know a smooth dip. Um, oh, this is worrying. Not properly plugged in. <laughs> Just going to give that a wee scrape down. Just to make sure everything gets included. There we go. Beautiful, rich colour and still quite chunky. Um, as dips go. So what you can actually do is serve this up on a lettuce leaf or a long cucumber slice or a long carrot slice or put it in a little pepper boat. Um, it would be just lovely like that. So getting a bit of raw in winter and of course beetroot is such a lovely winter vegetable. Hot or cold? <laughs> 